Hey there, welcome to part two of my 3D printed robot arm. I've got the electronics working now in the first three actuators. Those are the, the three small ones at the tip. I uh, had to design a custom PCB to fit in there. Uh, you'll notice I've got uh, some WS2812 LEDs in each actuator. There's a, a USB port for plugging in to the computer to program the firmware on it. Uh, I'm using Lua running on an ESP32, um, but I've got some acceleration and deceleration code running on the ESP32 as well, because when you're moving mechanical loads, it's pretty important to have the acceleration deceleration code working. Here's just some tests I had to do uh, prior to kind of figuring out how to code this. Uh, on that smaller stepper. I'm just trying to kind of dial in different approaches to the acceleration. Uh, you can see here that it starts out slow, goes at normal speed, and then kind of decelerates into a stop. Uh, I'm just using a linear algorithm right now. Uh, I'd like to switch to exponential, but it's working well enough. So this is the ESP32 that I wanted to fit inside. You can see it doesn't quite fit with Jeff Kerr's original design. That custom PCB doesn't fit either, uh, and I had to get a drive uh, 8825 in there and a DC to DC converter. So instead, I designed a new wrist uh, or shell cap um, and then punched in the holes for the LED, the switch, and the USB port. Um, and I used Eagle to do that PCB design. You can see I got a couple screws there that hold it all in. Eagle and Fusion 360 integrate pretty nicely where you can see your PCB visualized um, back and forth pretty easily between Eagle and Fusion. Now once I had the PCB designed, I went and prototyped it out on my milling machine. I'm using Chili Pepper and the Eagle Board Import widget that lets you easily drag in your Eagle Board and then just mill this thing out. I'm using a half a millimeter end mill. I did design the traces kind of large enough on this board so I could prototype uh, and mill it out. And then I printed out that new wrist shell design, or sorry, wrist cap design uh, in the meantime. And so here I soldered it up, and I mostly it's for fit, but I got most of the components working too. I did realize during this phase I had that DC to DC converter reversed, so thank God I prototyped it out before shipping off the final board to JLC PCB because it takes a couple of weeks. Here I got the final boards in the mail, so I'm assembling it for the first time. You can see I'm doing that DC to DC converter. I got the correct jack for the uh, micro stepper motor. Uh, got a whole bunch of different components in the mail for those headers and soldered that board up. It's probably about a five to ten minute soldering process to get all those components on there. Um, I do use lots of flux to make uh, the soldering go well and uh, here I am now with that final assembled board. Uh, you can see it's got a big capacitor on there for that stepper motor. The, the wire connects to it nicely. Get that ESP32 in there. Uh, it's really almost like a you know two layers per board plus three you know, monolithic layers to it. Uh, there's a lot of electronics to it, but it snaps in beautifully. And there's the finished product. Now, I popped it back out because you got to hook in that 24 volt main bus. So I had to kind of cut the wires to size. Um, and I put a little bead of solder on the end of those so that it was soft and would screw into that screw terminal nicely and not fall out. And then here I'm trying to get that. Um, 2-56 uh, screw in there with the nut to hold it in and then just kind of fit it all in there nicely works pretty well now you've got to program the firmware on it and uh, you've got that nice USB port now so once that connects to the computer I had to upload the latest node MCU ESP32 Lua firmware now I did write a new module for that firmware uh, it's a stepper motor module. I'll eventually check that into GitHub into the main repo if the guys will have it. But the moment that blue LED comes on, you've got proof of life that everything is working correctly. The electronics, the soldering, uh, and the code is running. So we're about to have that blue light go on. There's a pretty magical moment, and there it is. Um, 
that is uh, running from the Lua code that I wrote. I'm using the ESP32 for Lua workspace in Chili Pepper as well. So it's kind of cool. I'm milling from Chili Pepper and I'm programming from Chili Pepper. Here I'm adjusting the current on the stepper driver because those motors only run at about 250 milliamps and that driver can pump out like one and a half to two amps. Um, so I dialed that in pretty well. Uh, I've got that switch on all three. I'm just running test code here that kind of goes back and forth, but it's looking pretty good. Uh, you know, the sound is a little uh, sort of harsh sounding, so I do think I need to tweak the code to get the stepper movements smoother. But all in all, looking pretty good. Next step is the other uh, actuators uh, and the electronics, and then to be able to drive it from Chili Pepper with its own workspace. Thanks for watching.